People of YouTube, it is I, everyone's favorite YouTuber, Emperor Lemon. And today I'm coming at you guys with an unscripted commentary. Going to be trying to work on more unscripted commentaries in the future. Throw out the scripts. So let me know if you enjoy unscripted commentaries. And today, on this wonderful summer afternoon, I have come here to talk to you about some YouTube news. And no, this isn't about YouTube getting rid of thumbnails for 0.3% of users. Oh no, I can no longer see people making ridiculous facial expressions on a brightly colored background with bold impact text. Whatever will I do? My YouTube experience is ruined. No, 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 this isn't about that. All you people need to relax out there. YouTube custom thumbnails aren't going anywhere, okay? Do you seriously think that YouTube out of all companies is gonna try to make an effort to remove clickbait? Are you kidding me? But no, that didn't stop everyone from raising hell over it. And yeah, I get the point. Oh, it's a shady experiment. Oh, they just sprung it on us without telling us. And to that I have to say, come on, it's YouTube. Like, this is just par for the course for them. Yeah, it's shady. Yeah, they probably shouldn't randomly experiment with random YouTube users without their consent, but come on. They've been doing this stuff for the last three years, so I don't really see why this should be that big of a problem. YouTube is absolutely not getting rid of custom thumbnails, so everyone should stop worrying about it. What you should worry about is this actual piece of YouTube news, which is literally about YouTube and the news industry. I can't do it. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. Fake news. And it comes from everyone's favorite YouTube CEO, old W. Susan Wojcicki, coming out with a brand new announcement that YouTube has invested $25 million to, quote, support the future of news in online video. So what they've done, apparently, is make a significant investment towards emphasizing trusted news sources such as Fox News and CNN. Because if I want to tune into some very accurate and unskewed, unbiased news, the first thing I think of is Fox News and CNN. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Never a miscommunication. You can't explain that. I don't know what that means. So clearly what YouTube is doing, they have once again sided with corporate interests rather than the interests of common YouTubers by choosing to promote mainstream media legacy news sources on their platform. And they're doing this at a time when the public's trust in the mainstream news media has never been lower. And there's a pretty good reason behind that trend, considering that ever since the 2016 election, the mainstream media in America has become so unbelievably biased that it's beyond absurd at this point. He's not still gonna be president by me. He's not still gonna be president by me. When you talk about George Bush, I mean, say what you want, the World Trade Center came down during his time. So you can go take a look at the blog that Google posted. I'll put a link to it in the description and you'll see them give their glossy little explanation for all this, but we all really know why they're doing this. They'll tell you it's about the integrity and the trusted news sources, but really, really, they don't care about any of that. This is strictly a business decision. YouTube, the corporation, YouTube, they have been getting hammered in the media lately. Whenever you see a story about YouTube in the mainstream media, it's not positive. 99% of the time, it's going to be about some stupid YouTube vlogger doing a stupid thing, or it's going to be an investigative hit piece made for fat soccer moms talking about how YouTube is so dangerous for your children. Ah! So it's very clear that heading into this year, YouTube's portrayal in the news media has been overwhelmingly negative. 
But hey, would you look at this? YouTube is suddenly partnering with the mainstream news media. How about that? Definitely can't see any conflicts of interest here that would prevent the news media from reporting on anything negative about YouTube anymore. So that's why they're doing this, let's be real here. Legacy media knows that their audience is tuning out by the millions because of their horribly tilted and inaccurate coverage of pretty much every news story since 2016. They know they're losing their audience. They know young people don't give a shit about the CBS Evening News. They know they're struggling and they know their future as an industry is in complete jeopardy. I love the young people. So YouTube comes up to them and they're probably like, all right, you guys, I'll cut you a deal. We'll start promoting the hell out of you on YouTube. And in exchange, we would like you to sort of downplay all that negative stuff about YouTube, okay? So that's what's happening on YouTube. And in the near future, you're probably gonna see a lot more news pop up on your homepage. And just like always, you will ignore it and watch an actual YouTuber instead of the news because YouTube audiences don't care about mainstream news. YouTube audiences want to get their news from YouTubers. Does that make the least bit of sense to you guys? Say what you want about Philly D, Keemstar, Scarce. Righteous fucking men! But there's a reason these guys get millions upon millions of views, while videos from official news sources often struggle to break 50,000 views. YouTubers are far more compelling. YouTubers have a much stronger connection to the actual audience. But once again, it's yet another branch of YouTube where the homegrown, grassroots, independent creators are gonna get bullied out of existence by corporate interests. And it's a shame. But at the same time, I can't say I'm surprised. I talked about this same exact thing happening in my video last year about YouTube's downward spiral. It's no secret that for the longest time now, YouTube has been continuously siding with mainstream and corporate entities rather than their genuine homegrown creators. Ever since old W took over, it just seems like this website has been continually getting more and more corporate. And I'm not gonna sit here and say that's necessarily a 100% bad thing. It sure is a good thing from YouTube's perspective. Surely for them, hedging all these business relationships with dependent dying media industries is certainly gonna help them stick around in the long run. So from a strictly business perspective, it makes perfect sense for them. But at the same time, I can't help but wonder just how disconnected the higher-ups at YouTube are from their core audience. People on YouTube don't want to watch the NBC nightly news with Lester Holt. People on YouTube want to follow personalities. They don't want to follow some corporate puppet that's been put in his position by an industry think tank. And once again, you can prove that idea by just looking at the views. YouTube audiences don't care about the legacy media. And YouTube ramming them down our throats certainly isn't going to change that. As a matter of fact, it'll probably make us like them less. And strictly speaking from the perspective of a YouTube viewer, you're damn right I'm going to choose an independent YouTube news personality over a mainstream media corporation. Why would I side with an entity? who has time and time again been proven to be a bunch of liars, hypocrites, and scam artists who want to do nothing more than push an agenda and conform to corporate interests. <laughs> I don't care how fair and accurate they claim to be. It's opinion, not news! If I'm gonna be getting opinion-based news, I might as well get it from the independent YouTuber who's not in the pocket of a massive corporation. So yeah, you're damn right I'm going to choose the guy who can actually speak freely about issues. But now, in order to protect their investment, YouTube is probably going to downplay all of those channels. Which is a damn shame. They'll call them fake news, they'll call them conspiracy theorists, they'll call them racist, alt-right, radical, whatever. And meanwhile, at the same time that they'll slander all of their honest, independent, free-thinking YouTubers, They'll turn around and shove the corrupt mainstream media right down your throat. And obviously, like I said, it's not going to make us like them anymore. But as far as YouTube's concerned, 
that $25 million investment is worth every penny to make sure that the mainstream media doesn't really talk about YouTube's problems anymore. So that's what's going on on YouTube right now. Feel free to care about it, or don't. This is the end of the video. Goodbye. What the hell is this? Austin, face to face with McMahon! They're shaking hands! Stone Cold is shaking hands! The Satan himself! For the love of God, someone tell me this is not happening! It's happening! Stone Cold Steve Austin has 